All right, this is another lecture on diagonalization, which people found very useful from last time. So this one's going through it again quickly because we're doing it in linear algebra, which is another course at university. Right, now the method, the characteristic polynomial, this is what it refers to sometimes, that's the determinant of your matrix A, which is what you'll be given in the question, minus X times the identity matrix. And if you don't remember the identity matrix, it's the diagonals, so we'll have x, x, x down the diagonals. And the eigenvalues are the solutions to this when it equals zero. Now, once you've got those, we use we use each of them. We refer to, we're referring to them as lambda here. We'll do, for each of them, find an eigenvector. So with the associated eigenvalue, we do a minus lambda i, which is our identity matrix, times v. Now v, this is our eigenvector, and we're trying to solve these eigenvectors such that if we multiply this by v, we'll get zero. And I've got three of them examples coming up. And we know a matrix is diagonalizable if, well, first of all, all the eigenvectors have to be linearly independent, and we know that they are anyway because they come with different eigenvector, eigenvalues. So if you've got more than one eigenvalue the same, then they're not going to be linearly independent, are they? And this will be given in the form d equals c inverse times a times c. Now a is the matrix you're given in the beginning. D is a matrix, a diagonalized, a diagonal matrix of each of your eigenvalues going down. So you'll have your first eigenvalue, your second, your third, and C is the the stacking of your eigenvectors together. Now you stack them in the way that your first eigenvalue uh, in the diagonalized diagonal matrix is corresponding to the first row in the C. So we'll have, this is our first eigenvalue, this is our first eigenvector, second one, which will be in the middle, second one, third one, which is the very bottom corner, the third. Now, if you didn't understand all that, I've got an example, which is a very big one. Right, find, this is our example. We have A, which is our matrix, one, minus two, three, zero, two, zero, zero, minus two, three, find the characteristic polynomial and then find the eigenvalues. Now the characteristic polynomial I said was the if we subtract x from each of these from the diagonals and then we find the determinants. We'll have that times that times that minus 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0. So that's all it is if you work that out. Uh, there's another video on de uh, determinant which I might link to somewhere in this. Um, and if we solve this it's nice and easy eigenvalues 1, 2, and 3. So now we need to find the eigenvectors. I hope you can see that. Uh, if we use our first eigenvalue, lambda is 1, then we have our matrix A minus uh, 1 times the identity, which is here. So if we subtract 1 from each of these, which will give us this matrix here, 0, 0, 0, minus 2, 1, minus 2, 3, 0, 2. And we multiply this by x, y, z, which is going to be our eigenvector and we have to make this solve to zero so zero 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 so if we just multiply this out now we'll get minus two y plus three z y uh, minus two y plus two z if we solve this here well first we already know that y is zero and we know because y is zero if we put the y into here is zero we'll get z is zero and because x isn't included we can have x whatever we like so we'll have its a and in this case I've let a equal 1. Now you can let it equal whatever you like, it won't make a difference in the end. Uh, now we've got to find the eigenvector for our eigenvalue lambda is 2. So we've got, again we've got the same a matrix but this time it's minus 2, 2, 2 because we're doing 2 times the identity matrix. And again we've got the eigenvector we need to find here and 0. So if we subtract this we've got minus 1 minus 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 2, 1, times our eigenvector, and those are zeros there. And if we multiply this out here, we'll get minus x, minus 2y, plus 3z, 0 on this row, minus 2y, plus z. Now, we can rearrange this 
because we well if we've got three we've got two equations haven't we we've got minus x minus 2y plus 3z equals 0 and minus 2y plus z equals 0 so we can already get z equals 2y from the bottom one and if we put um, that into the first one we cancel the z's out don't we because we get minus we get minus x minus 2y plus 6y which will give us minus x minus minus x plus 4y and then we can move the x over so we'll get x is 4y now y is included in both of them so we can have y whatever we like and to make it easy I got the first term which is going to be we're going to have y is 1 so if we have y is 1 then that's going to be 2 and that's going to be 4 yeah but again you can have whatever you like you could put y is 2 and have 2 4 8 it doesn't make a difference in the end um, and we've got to do the same again for lambda equals 3 so we have minus 3 3 3 again just as before we'll have minus 2 minus 2 3 0 minus 1 0 0 minus 2 0 Right, and if we multiply this by the eigenvector here, get minus 2x minus 2y plus 3z minus y minus 2y. Well, obviously, we know here from these two that y is 0. Now, this was the tricky part. If we have up here, well, we've got y is 0, so we have minus 2x plus 3z equals 0. Now, if we rearrange this, we'll get x is 3 over 2z, and z is 2 over 3x. Now, to find our arguments we've already got zero haven't we y so we just pick any value I picked x is what well, if I picked x is 3 so if x is 3 z is 3 over 2 so we can rearrange and move the 2 up it'd be 6 equals 3z move the 3 under z equals 2 but you can just pick x is 1 and you'll get z is uh, 2 over 3, but to make it look nicer, I've done it that way. Right now, as the final part, find C such that D equals C inverse times A times C. So again, we simply stack the eigenvectors. So we got 1, 0, 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 0, 2, which is what we've got before. See, 3 over 2, 4, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0. And we stack them in this order, yeah? So because we've done the, this is lambda 1, we have our uh, lambda 1, this is lambda 2, lambda 2, lambda 3, lambda 3. This is not because of the number, this is uh, to do with our eigenvalues. Yes, this is our eigenvalues. It was just pure coincidence that they are equal to 1, 2, 3. And so therefore, A is diagonalizable and we've done it there. And that'll be about 20 marks in your exam.